presidential election is scheduled for next year, but let's be frank, by the looks of things, you'd never know it. In this edition of Let's Be Frank, Frank Cipolla discusses what he's now calling the endless campaign. Frank? The government shutdown is over, Congress is back in Washington, and you know what that means? The 2020 presidential campaign is underway. Already seven Democrats are in the race, and of course President Trump. And all of this happening as Election Day is almost two years away. Two years! I actually saw one of the major candidates doing a televised hour-long town hall meeting this week. Really? Look, I get it. You need to get in early, identify donors, define your opponents before they define you, and so on. But why must we start so early? And why so many candidates? Last time around, there were 17 on the Republican side, and God knows how many Democrats this time around. Too many choices makes it more confusing for the average American. It's like going to one of those casual dining restaurants and being handed a 40-page menu. Uh, I'll take uh, one uh, Republican, Democrat, uh, give me one independent, and can I have a side order of bacon-wrapped jalapeno poppers? Thank you. You know, there was a time when the presidential campaign actually began in the year of the presidential election. Now the on-screen countdown clocks to the next debate and the debate after that begin immediately after the midterms. The breathless political analysis is nonstop. Hey, we're busy paying bills, dropping off kids, working two jobs to put aside any time to concentrate on 2020. As I've said before, it's not about any particular party, it's about where we are as a country. We should do what other countries do, limit election campaigns to three months or six. It would save us all a lot of time. Burnout is not good for turnout. I'd like to know what you think. Email me at frank.sapola at fox4now.com. Thank you, Frank. Putting a stop to robocalls. The cell phone companies trying to help you avoid having to deal with those annoying calls, and they want to do it for free for you. Mm, that's nice. Got some pent up anger, aggression, how about stress? The local business letting you let your rage out. It ain't easy being cheesy, I should know. <laughs> the new cheesy concoction KFC is trying out. And as we go to break, look at the Storm Smart camera from the Westing Cape Coral. It was cloudy, it was balmy, it was sunny. Mixed bag today, but uh, we'll see what's in store for the rest of the week. Coming up, Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley on Fox 4 News at 10. Robocalls, scam calls, telemarketers, whatever you want to call them, they can be downright annoying, right? And relentless. Spammers made 26.3 billion robocalls last year.